Welcome to the Book of Remembrance. This message was received from the Lord Jesus on July the 20th, 2016. The title of the message is Mercy for the Skeptics. And the Lord Jesus began, I am a faithful husband, my bride. I will not cheat on you or betray your trust. I am a brave husband. I will protect you and keep you safe. I am a loving husband. I died to save you from a life in hell. I am a selfless husband. I gave all of myself for you, even before you decided to choose me. I am a loyal husband. I will never leave you nor forsake you. I am kind. I let it rain on the just and the unjust. I am patient with you. Though you sin ten thousand times, if you sincerely repent and turn away from your wicked ways, I will always forgive you. I am merciful. Though you deserve death, I offer you my mercy and let you live. I am full of grace. I bless you even when you do not deserve it. My loving kindness towards you knows no bounds. I love all men. I am not prejudiced. All men are equal in my eyes. My love is extended even and especially to those who hate me. I am accused without cause, judged for crimes I did not commit, hated, yet I am the source of all life. I am blasphemed daily, but I do not retaliate. My enemies spit on me, kick me, pull my beard out, punch me in the face, gouge out my eyes, and lash my back till all that is left is raw hanging strips of blooded flesh, yet I do not utter a curse word. My blood flows in the streets, and men trample over it like it is much common waste. I have holes in my skull from the crown of thorns I am forced to wear, holes in my hands and in my feet, from where I was nailed to the cross. Yes, though I was crucified, died, and resurrected millennia ago, Yet men still make me bleed because of their disobedience and rebellion. They take the gift I gave them so lightly. They toss it aside carelessly. Yet this is life. I am life. I am the giver of it. And those who remain in me will have life eternal in me and with me in my kingdom. I wish I could take all men to hell to show them the death that they must die daily. But that will not do. They have to accept the reality of hell by faith, just like my children accept the reality of heaven by faith and accept me as their Lord and Savior by faith, even though they have never been to heaven and most have never seen me. Yet even now, I have taken people to hell that they may see it, touch it, feel it, and be a witness of its existence. I have allowed them to come back to earth to you, to tell you of the existence of hell and the horrors that it holds. Them you have ridiculed, mocked, and made into a laughing stock. They have not been spared from persecution either. They have been called delusional. They are told they were hallucinating and are considered mentally unstable in some cases. I sent them back to you that you may believe my words that are in my Bible, but you have scorned them to shame. Some will not even open their mouths anymore to testify of their experiences. They were to witness to all, especially to the skeptics, the atheists, the agnostics, the satanists, all who do not believe in me, God, in heaven, in hell, or even that Satan exists. They returned for your sake, that perhaps you may believe their testimony, and keep from ending up in hell. O oh man, all I have done has always been for your good, to draw you closer to me, to free you from the bondage of sin and destroy the works of the enemy. In your hardness of heart, some have not believed me, and instead reject me at every opportunity. It is my heart's deepest desire to rescue you from a burning hell, but you must accept my hand of rescue that I extend to you to draw you out of the pit you have already dug for yourself. I am not your enemy. I am your savior. I am God. I am here to remove the blinders from your eyes, and set you free from deception. I want all who are skeptical of me, all who do not believe me, to come and ask me to prove myself to them. I will. The hour is late, and I am opening my arms to you. Come to me. Let me embrace you. Let me prove myself to you. Come, walk with me. Ask your questions. Let us talk. If you are serious about finding truth, 
I am here waiting to reveal it to you. What you do with it afterwards is all on you. I love you. I am here. Come to me. I am waiting. Amen. And that was the end of the message from the Lord Jesus. Be blessed, beloved.